Service now predicts El Nino will fade in the coming months and has issued a La Nina watch forecasters projecting that there is about a 55% chance that this pattern, which is of course the opposite of El Nino, will develop by August. I'm in the WRAL Severe Weather Center with meteorologist Kat Campbell. So explain to us what pattern differences we should expect with this, La Nina. This is going to be a fast flip that we're likely to see. It could begin June, July, August, but then during the peak of hurricane season as we get to September, October, November, there's a very high likelihood that we'll be in this pattern. So right now we have above average sea surface temperatures in the equatorial Pacific. What we'll see happen is this region is going to cool to below normal temperatures in that region. What does this mean for you? Unfortunately, La Nina seasons are very active hurricane seasons for us. It's easier for storms to form and easier for them to strengthen. And one of the reasons why is we have stronger westerly trade winds and that lowers the vertical wind shear. So that lower the wind shear and with less wind shear to rip apart these storms in their development stages, they can not only form but hold together better. And just to put this term into perspective, some recent La Nina years, 2020, which was the most active on record, and 2021. So unfortunately, it's looking like we could be headed for an active hurricane season again.